Hello, Hello Logo, Logo community. Today I want to talk about Logo 8.3, which has a very special feature, cloud connectivity. But what exactly is this? To find out, I have our product expert Sven here with me, and we'll be asking him a couple of questions about clouds. Hello, Sven. Hi, Jackie. Logo and cloud connectivity. What is this all about? Basically, it means that I can now connect the new Logo 8.3 with the cloud and upload or download data to and from the cloud. What new opportunities does that offer? Or rather, why do we need cloud connectivity? That's a good question. A purposeful cloud application offers a lot of potential. Basically, we can think of it like this. Let's say we have distributed pumps all over the country. They will continue to be controlled by the logo module. But now I want to retrieve data from the pumps. I want to call up the operating hours, the current temperature, the water flow, and everything else centrally. To do this, I simply replace an existing logo module with a new version, establish internet access, and thus transfer the data from the logo to the cloud. That certainly sounds like a big advantage. So, I have my logo and I want to send my data to the cloud. What do I need? First, you need a logo module, 8.3. Then, you obviously need an internet connection to your logo, and finally, an AWS account. AWS, you mean Amazon Web Services. Is that the only cloud provider that can connect to a logo module? Exactly. At the moment, yes. Further cloud providers will be available in the future. Okay. And is Logo 8.3 still in line with the previous extension modules in the Logo 8 series? I mean, could I simply use my Logo 8.3 in the control cabinet? Yes, Logo 8.3 is basically no different from the other Logo 8 series. Its design is identical. Compatibility with all extension modules is still guaranteed and I can easily replace it. Are there also changes to Logo Soft Comfort and Logo Web Editor regarding cloud connectivity? Yes, cloud connectivity is, of course, a major feature of the new version. This is implemented in such a way that, controlled by a wizard, cloud connection is configured in Logo Soft Comfort or Logo Web Editor. This makes it really easy to establish the cloud connection. I only need to enter my parameters or configuration, and the software takes care of the connection for me. And are there any other changes? After all, the biggest feature is the cloud connectivity of 8.3, isn't it? Are there any other innovations? Logo Web Editor offers some new features. On the one hand, we now have a push button. We have the option of integrating webcams via iframes. We can adapt the login screen. In other words, I can now display my company logo and information about the application directly on the login screen. I can edit it myself and have the option of integrating PDFs via a pop-up. So, there are definitely quite a few changes to Logo Web Editor, too. Yes, there are. So, how do I access the current versions of Logo Soft Comfort or Logo Web Editor? Do I just need to update? Correct. It's done in exactly the same way as before. The new version of Logo Soft Comfort and Logo Web Editor are available to download from SIOS. So, if I still have an old version of Logo Soft Comfort, I can run a free update and afterwards I'll be able to use the new functions. Like before, the Logo Web Editor is free of charge. Version 1.1 is also free to download from SIOS. Okay. Thanks very much for the detailed information, Sven. You're welcome. So, that was a quick insight into Logo 8.3 with its key feature of cloud connectivity. Now it's over to you. I hope you enjoy working on your own cloud projects. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.